Okay, greetings everyone. Welcome to Gerard Black in the Philippines with Truth. I want to welcome you to my channel, all my subscribers, lovers, haters, peaches, triggers, commenters, scallywags. Each and every one of you, I welcome you to my channel. And you know what today is? Oh, boom, 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 boom. That's right, it's calling all comments. And we're going to jump right into them today. So, uh, this first one <clears throat> is from the video, I'm Just a Gigolo. You know, um, uh, I was kind of, I was kind of wondering why, you know, I didn't get much comment on subtle racism, which is what, uh, which is what happened, you know, in, uh, a story I tell about how subtle racism is in the Philippines or how it is among foreigners, you know, but be that as it may, nothing was said about that. But who did say something about it? Let me see. Um, Bob Wello. Bob Wello said a good video. Enjoyed it. Well, thank you, Bob. You know, you know, I really enjoy you always taking the time to watch my videos. You know, but you know, um, I probably was. You know, nothing else. I probably. But I don't want to go back to that video. You know, just watch it and then see if you have something to say about it and comment on it. Let me know. Okay. Uh, this next video we're going to go to. It's called. Um, uh, First day at obedience school. <laughs> that, that's, that's my doing my my project with the boys, trying to do something with them, you know, uh, consistently. So that way I interact with them, you know. So that was my, we were supposed to film yesterday, but I lost nerve, you know. Uh, and um, Bob Willow also comments, great show. Thanks, Bob Willow, again, for proving to me that there's one person out there who watches my video consistently. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, this next uh, one is commented from, um, how long did it take, what, uh, what, what does it say? Um, uh, oh, how long did it take to give your uh, ATM card to a Filipina? Yeah, that, that was a question I threw out there. Uh, I had um, four comments on that one. Uh, the Bob Willow said, nice video today. Thank you, Bob Willow. Rag Jamrock, <clears throat> he writes, it may be too late to change an older person's spending uh, savings habit, but make it a priority with your kids. I need to have, uh, I never had an allowance growing up, but anytime I got money, I would give, I would save some of it. My weekend job in high school paid for my first year in college. My ex-wife was an, uh, a, a, a complete opposite, <laughs> uh, and I hated that fact that I was the only partner trying to save money. Years, uh, years. Uh, your idea about separate bank account is a good one. Uh, that's what. That way, you can tell your wife that you see is what you get now, baby. What you see is what you get now, baby. Rag Jamrock, you consistently hit the nail right on the head. You know, um, having someone, having a partner who who uh, who uh, who is not working with you as far as savings, as far as understand, you know, um, uh, uh, the spending of what goes on, and and on the same level, wanting to save money, it's difficult. It's difficult. But um, and with the boys, yeah, you know, each morning I give them forty pesos. For them to go to school, <clears throat> we we uh, me and I consistently, hey, you know, talked about this because she was complaining that she had to give money for the boys to go to school out of her allowance. <laughs> so I figured to stop her from doing that, I said, "Well, how much do you think they need a day to go to school?" So she was talking about fifty. I said, "No, yeah, give them forty pesos a day." So I give them 40 pesos a day for them to go to school with. The youngest one, you know, I haven't mentioned about saving money to them, um, um, but the youngest one has been very good, you know, of bringing back money. You know, when I ask him how much money he has, he might say 10 pesos or something like that, which is good, which means he, he can control his spending, I guess. But yeah, uh, um, it is something that what I, I, I want to instill in them. And, and my hats off to you for being able to save money or get that in an early age and be so effective that it paid for your first year of college. Of college. My hats off to you. This is Omadiah. <clears throat> I didn't have to look it up, Omadiah. 
He said, actually, I, I, um, I had her, uh, I had hers. Actually, I had hers the first year at PMB, and discovered that she is a great accountant. Oh, I guess that Filipino, um, that some type of business school or something like this. Uh, she's a great accountant. Again, you know, it's, it's fantastic if you can find someone who's on the same plane as you. Me, because I know I'm a denot, denot when it comes to numbers and all that stuff like that. You know, you know, uh, I know having someone who, 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 would, who, who would, you know, it could, be, it, 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 it could be a great thing, but it could be a pain in the ass. So, so you know, it, the way I have it now, you know, I, I'm the one that's on the short end of the stick because I want her to be able to um, to get more involved in, in savings and knowing, being prepared for what might come down the pipe. Thanks for your comment, Omadaya. Uh, this is from uh, um, Dre going global. Dre going global. Hey, Gerard, quick question. Uh, every time I come to the Philippines, I stay uh, no longer than 30 days. Where do I apply for a visa extension? My baby will be born in June. I'll be back to the Philippines I may, uh, in May. I want to stay two months this time. But can you explain to me and others how to get your visa extension? Thanks, bro. I enjoy your video. Well, uh, Dre going global. Yeah, it's simple. You have, just have to go uh, to um, immigrations before your 30-day uh, visa uh, expires. You know, on your visa, it, it tells you when you have to uh, exit the country or what have you. So you can go, um, you go to immigrations. And immigration can extend you. When I was going, they could extend you one month, two months, six months. Yeah, I don't, I, I don't think longer than six months. But uh, you could do it in, in that intervals. I think somehow or another it's changed where it's, you know, it's, it's not like that. But that's the best way to do it is to go to the Philippines, and and um, and and have it updated for that duration of time. Uh, there are some people that where if you stay in the Philippines for over two years, you know, you have to leave the country regardless. And what they often do is that they run to uh, Thailand or, or Korea and just run there, touch the ground and turn around and come back. And that completes your requirements to be able to stay for a little bit longer. But go to immigration, you know, get the right information, talk to someone there. They're very good and they'll help you navigate your stay uh, in the Philippines and make it a good one. Okay, uh, uh, who that? Who that? That was from Omadaya. Okay, no, no, that was uh, Dre going global. Okay, um, this one is from uh, and and a baby sing a simple song. Uh, sing a simple song got two comments. Uh, the first one is from Bob Willow, good father of the year. It's great. That why thanks Bob Willow. I really appreciate that. Thank you very much. And the next one is from uh, Kappa Food, Cat uh, Cat K A T P I Pi Food F O O D. Uh, that is so so awesome. <laughs> well, I guess uh, that's uh, that's the one where me and I uh, were, I was singing to the baby. I think uh, you know I I hope you don't mind my showing videos of, of my daughter. You know. Um, you know, putting her on my YouTube channel, you know, um, you know, I, I'm a proud father. What can I say? Uh, I, I, I want you to see, you know, uh, the progress of, of her growth as you what witness the decline of my health. <laughs> I somehow tell me they're both going to go hand in hand. So why not document it? But thank you. Uh, thank you very much, Kat. Uh, uh, he says, uh, uh, it is so, so awesome. Much blessing to you, uh, to your family and you. Thanks, Kevin, Texas, Dallas. Kevin, Te Kevin Dallas, Texas. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, and uh, let me see. I'm going to kind of do one more. Um, I think we already covered this one when I said, uh, uh, drop that peach as fast as you can. Uh, uh, so fast you catch pneumonia from the breeze. Let me see how. Huh? This is from um, Michael Myers. Michael Myers Day. Oh, yeah. 
He says, how long have you had snow? Of course, you know, uh, kicking a dog out of, of your house in the Philippines uh, uh, is a death sentence. Try and work it out with them. <laughs> okay, don't worry. Don't worry, Michael. I, snow is staying. So, you know, she's just, she's just part of the family right now. I just have to accept that. And um, so we're happy to have her. You know, uh, I'm gonna thank all you who comment. Thank you, ones who are watching my videos. You know, um, I enjoyed it. I think I got paid again from from uh, YouTube. I think I got another hundred dollars. It's <laughs> I think every four months I make a hundred dollars. So, but be that as it may, it's still encouraging encouragement for me to keep doing it. If money was the objective, but it's not. It's just my just documenting. You know what my life is going through and wanting to share it with you okay you know uh, something happened to me <laughs> the other day the other day you know Mia is always concerned about you know oh she was concerned about she's not anymore uh, who I was talking to or whatever because whenever you want to look at my phone just look through it so you you know you you know the password just look at it just look at it I don't care you know you know I, I know I'm a good man and I know I'm doing the right thing you know, you know um, uh, so anyway, so, um, you know, I was upstairs and she was downstairs. So I decided to uh, video chat her and tell her to warm up spaghetti and bring it upstairs. So I, I do it and, and it's ringing, it's ringing and she doesn't answer and she's downstairs. And so, you know, when she came to the door, I went like this, like this, and, you know, then, uh, then some kind of, you know, some kind of, some kind of suspicious move, you know, you know, you know, and you know what she told me? I don't care. I said, what? You don't care? You don't care? Really? Really? Did I just hear you say that you don't care? <laughs> so, <laughs> Kaysen, I said, I, I don't know if she saw her phone and saw me calling and knew who it was me, or maybe, you know, maybe she's really developed into someone who really doesn't care, who she really accepted the fact that maybe, you know, there's nothing to look here for, because, you know, uh, you know, I, you know, I've always been doing the right thing, and you should too. So, thanks for watching Gerard Black in the Philippines with the truth. Remember, dreams are nothing more than plans awaiting action. Never disrespect the LDOs, pull someone up. And sometimes, sometimes you're know, the only one to see your vision. And the best revenge in life is to live good. I'm living good today. I hope you are too. And if you're lucky enough to have a woman like Ollie Woodson, former lead singer of The Temptation, once sung, treat her like a lady. And ladies, if you're lucky enough to have a good man like me, make him feel like a king and never say no. You know, um, uh, Duchess is crying a little bit more now and just, you know, and whatever. And me is. You know, I said, I'm trying to tell her, just let her cry. That this is this is what they mean by, you know, she cried herself to sleep. You know, it's expected of a baby to cry. You know, they eat shit, sleep, and that, 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 that's it. You know, so you know, you know, it, there's no, you know, you don't know what's going on. She could be teething, or or you know, something or another. You know, what's going, on, but. You, but you don't panic. You don't be concerned about it. You just have to. I help her out. We got two housekeepers. We have to get tired of hearing hand it to one of, one of, the, one of the caretakers or, or to myself and, and just go get some rest. You know, that's all. I mean, she's very fortunate in that way that where she has all this help around her that she doesn't ever have to feel about being overwhelmed with something. Because, you see, that's, that's not healthy whenever a woman feels overwhelmed as a childbirth that that there's nothing that, that she can do or, or, or it gets to her they like this to where it's too much for you know that anxiety, you know, it, you know, that's that's very unhealthy. But hopefully it doesn't get to that. Okay? So remember, I love you like a love song, baby. I'll talk to you later. Peace.